This is Nathan Morley with another update on the LEGO Disaster Refuse Collector. This one is an update of the transmission controller. So, uh, from, well, when I talked about this last time, I talked about splitting up the control, the actual controller assembly and the motor controllers. I've done that. Uh, this little guy here is just the overall controller and uh, coordinator. I've also done some other updates to it. Um, power is fed to it through the little uh, blue wire here. The uh, one with the little two white bands, that is a direction input. Three white bands is a speed input. And then this one, the four uh, white bands, is a uh, brake input. So the clutch is actually controlled now from inside here and is indicated by the last light. Um, if you remember that last light used to just be a power indicator, now it's the clutch indicator. So the clutch will, uh, the clutch is normally closed and will open automatically when power is cut to the main motor or the brakes are applied, one of the two. Then uh, command signals are fed from the overall controller to the four little transmission controllers in here through the uh, little telephone cable here. You come into uh, this uh, little junction box here. Uh, then they go out to the four controllers inside. Each controller consists consists of a uh, double pull, double throw uh, relay, this big orange box here, and then two little solid state relays. We have these uh, four wires going into the a uh, little controller box here. These are the inputs from the position feedback switches. Oh, this is the, I believe, the number one transmission, number two, number three, and the green is the clutch. Then also, each transmission has its own output, which are right here. We have the one, two, and the number three transmission, and then the clutch in green on the end there. Um, I've actually had this hooked up to the transmission previously. It works amazingly well, especially after the updates, the uh, gearing on the uh, oh, shift controllers. So, keep watching for more updates.